the present administration is working assiduously to ensure the implementation of the socio-economic policies that hinge on enhancing child survival, development, protection, and participation. This is realized through our deliberate and more concerted steps in providing the enabling environment and the political commitment that thrives the execution of laudable programs and projects that touch the lives of our citizens. These include, among others, the reform in the health sector and the re reactivation of health facilities across the state. To consolidate our performance, a five-point health agenda was commissioned as the focal point of our interventions, which include, but not limited, to free medical supplies for under five and pre-stroke postnatal lactating mothers. I understand that the annual work plan is in perfect co correlation to the present administration's strive to pull out the vulnerable children and women from the shackles of deprivation, impoverishment, and psychosocial depression through inclusiveness to promote social cohesion at both the household level and the larger society. It is our strong conviction that routine immunization available, available essential drugs and supplies, nutrition and counseling in HIV AIDS services will greatly improve the health quality, which has a positive effect on our economic fortunes. A healthy society is an economically viable one. Our government is quite appreciative of the proposed output as enshrined in the annual work plan and has put in place the necessary and sufficient conditions for the full attainment of the overarching goal of this noble plan. I also want to applaud your level of efforts in articulating the plan and its integration of the global best practices to Bauchi State to assimilate. The key parameters that guided the technical conception of the plan are well noted and will certainly keep in mind in the course of execution. The government will fulfill its costs requirement towards actualizing the sound implementation of the annual work plan. The government has equally carried out specific initiatives in the education sector as a step to build synergy in the path of our economic planning and development. Our government has embarked on massive renovation of dilapidated school structures and construction of new ones to increase access to basic education. The introduction of the homegrown school feeding has also improved nutritional status of the school children, enrollment, relation, and transition. These have improved learning outcome in our schools. In the same vein, the engagement of women groups as food supply vendors has increased the disposable income of these households, particularly the female-headed households, widows and other women groups with varied vulnerabilities. In the area of water supply and sanitation, tremendous success has been recorded. Equally worthy of mention is that with the restoration of peace in the northeast subregion, Bauchi State inclusive, agricultural activities have witnessed steady growth. The government has provided aggressive agricultural support packages through procurement and distribution of fertilizer and other farming tools and equipment at affordable and controlled prices with a view to ensuring food security to our citizens. Yes.